Yeah. Oh, he does it by himself. All right, today is the 27th, Monday, Section 4-7. We are skipping Section 4-6. The median of a triangle is the segment drawn from one angle to the midpoint of the opposite side. How many angles are in a triangle? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. How many opposite sides are there? Three. Three. How many medians do you think there are? Three. Three. Very good. Okay. There are three medians in every triangle. Wow. This is an acute triangle. I have the medians color coded. And I want to specify here. Because the medians do not necessarily form six equal little segments. But in this segment AB, the median drawn from angle C does split that into two equal parts. The green median drawn from angle B does split AC into two equal parts. And the median drawn from angle A does split BC into two equal parts. What kind of triangle would you have to have so that all six of these new segments are equal? equal An equilateral triangle. Okay, if that was the case, then yes, you'd have six new little segments that were all equal to each other. So it's always going to bisect the other opposite angle? Exactly. It always cuts it in half. Okay, it's going through the middle, through the midpoint. Think of the median on the highway. Where is it? In it's in the middle of the lanes of traffic, okay? All right. The altitude of a triangle does something completely different from the median. The altitude is the segment drawn from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So when it meets the opposite side, it's going to form a 90-degree angle. Not necessarily at the midpoint. It's just going to form a 90 degree angle. Now notice it also says, or the line containing the opposite side. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I show you the pictures. Let's go back to medians real quick. Where are the three medians located? <laughs> no, those are three points. They're located inside the triangle. the triangle. Okay? Think about it. Any triangle, whether it's acute, obtuse, or a right triangle, can the medians be located anywhere else besides inside the triangle? No. 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 They have to be inside because they're going from an angle to the middle of the opposite side. They have to be inside the triangle. That was the same thing. Now an altitude, on the other hand, can be located in different places depending on the type of triangle that you're talking about. In an acute triangle, I have three altitudes drawn here. The blue altitude is coming across from the bottom right angle to its opposite side and it forms a 90 degree angle where it meets. Now is that blue dotted line going to the midpoint of the opposite side? No. It's not a median. It's not cutting the opposite side in half. It's an altitude. It's meeting the opposite side 
and forming a right angle. We also have the green line, which goes to its opposite side and forms a 90 degree angle. And if you notice there, that one is also not in the center. Okay? And then you have an altitude here, the red line. All three altitudes of an acute triangle are located inside the triangle, as you can see. But now when we look at an obtuse triangle, first we start with the red altitude. It's going from the obtuse angle to the opposite side. And it is located in the middle of the triangle. It's inside the triangle. But if you look at the altitude coming from angle A, to the opposite side. Is there any way that I can put a line from angle A to this opposite side and make it meet in here and make 90 degrees? No, it's never going to make 90 degrees. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. Well, then that's where the line containing comes in. Because the place where it makes a 90 degree angle is actually outside the triangle. Okay? And the same thing for this acute angle over here. There is absolutely no way that I can take this angle and make it meet anywhere in here and form a 90 degree angle. But if I extend the line that contains segment AD, then I can find or make it perpendicular to it. Okay? So in an obtuse triangle, two of your altitudes are located where? Outside. Outside. And both of those altitudes are the ones drawn from the which type angles? Obtuse. No. Acute. From the acute angles. Wait, the ones the altitudes that are found outside are the ones drawn from the acute okay. angles. Right here, angle B, acute, <coughs> angle A, acute. Okay? Now what about a right triangle? This is triangle ABC. And I want to draw a line from angle A perpendicular to segment BC. Well, isn't it already there? It's part of the triangle. If you want to draw a line from angle C perpendicular to segment AB, it's already there. It's part of the triangle. Now, from the right angle, the altitude is located inside. All right? This is kind of weird. Well, it's important to know the difference between a median and an altitude because of the different things that they do and the different things they tell you. Because when we're looking at shapes and we're trying to find the value of x or what is the measure of angle b, we need to know all these things. Okay? This is altitude, altitude, this is the third altitude. That's what the little a is labeled for. I'm yeah. sorry. So the blue okay. altitude is the altitude of BC, and the green altitude is the altitude of AB? The blue one is the altitude of angle A. Of angle A. Or coming from angle A. Okay. And the green one is the altitude coming from angle C. You're trying to make it perpendicular to what? The opposite side. So from the side containing the other two points. Sure. Okay? All right. Now what's the perpendicular bisector? That is a segment, a ray, a line, whatever, from the vertex of a triangle 